Okay guys, here we are in a Vintage Daily event, and it is April the 26th, and our round one opponent is Shadow Magic. And we've played Shadow Magic before. I, I believe he's playing a Grixis type build, but I could be wrong. You could be on a Pyromancer Mentor build as well, but we will see here very shortly. Um, uh, fortunately, we've won the die roll, and we will play first. Great hand. We will keep this. So I, we're going to attempt to turn one Lodestone Golem. This, this could backfire for sure. Uh, our hand is pretty weak if it doesn't resolve because, uh, of course, we've got a Metamorph in our hand only, and, of course, we need something to target. The good news for us is our opponent has Mulligan to 5, which is great news. Let's see if we can slide this through here, and hopefully this will resolve. I think we're in pretty good shape if it does because next turn we can strip mine, hopefully. And... Uh, pave the way for a Lodestone Golem. Of course, that would involve him having to have a non-basic. And of course, he's got a... Oh. Okay. Black Lotus is pretty strong there, for sure. So, um, not sure what we're going to see here, but... Mentor. Okay. So, pretty strong play from him. Uh, good news is, is we can probably just wasteland him here and uh, ride that to victory. Another option is we can make our own. Um... But I feel like uh, I feel like just putting a lodestone golem on here is a very strong play um, because I think the likelihood of him having another land is probably pretty minimal. And I mean, this could outright just be a mistake, but um, we're going to take his land here and play this. And uh, this hopefully will just shut him right down. And hopefully he's got no land. And uh, yeah, I was going to say we're coming in pretty hard and fast there. Um, so that answers that. We're playing against Mentor. Um, really don't have much on the sideboard for this. I guess we could bring in a, a Tabernacle here. Kind of to hedge our bets against him. And uh, maybe we we'll just take out a crucible. You know, if he's running wastelands, I, there's definitely merit to bring in a a crucible, another crucible. But we do have one in the main deck that we can go and fetch up if we don't to draw it naturally with the Forge Master. If we get into wasteland trouble, so. You know, it's. Uh, I brought in the Tabernacle today. I actually had two in the sideboard there before the tournament started. I went back down to one. I'm just not sure how good the card is against something like a Pyromancer or um, against Mentor and Pyromancers for that matter. Uh, I guess in the right situation, it could be really good. But, um, anyways, I'm, I'm going to try it out here. We'll see what it does. Like, you know, in that situation, had he had a stronger hand, um, he got that turn one mentor down, like, it would be devastating, right? It could be really good just cleaning out all his tokens, and all we're dealing with is, a, you know, on average, a 2-2 two, two to a 4-4 four, four in turn, and that is def definitely sustainable. It wraps up all his mana as well, trying to save his creatures, so. But I can also see a scenario where it's not very good as well. Of course, it taxes my own creatures as well. So we got a pretty big tournament here today. We've got 33 people in the tournament, which is awesome. And Vintage has really come alive here over the last couple months. Uh, it floundered there probably three to four months after it came out online, um, where none of the events were really firing. And uh, as a result of that, was as the coast cut a lot of the support, and we were basically playing a couple times a week on the weekends. And I think it was really with the start of the VSL that things started to flourish again. So I'm not crazy about this hand. I, I really don't like Double Ancient Tomb. Our opponent is mulliganed here. Um... I guess I'll keep it. 
in hopes that we draw a, a different land here, our opponent's mulled. Um, Okay, pretty happy to have drawn that. We're going to try a turn one Trinosphere here. I don't see why not. And that will pave the way for us to be able to cast a Lodestone Golem the following turn. So hopefully it resolves. And if it doesn't, my opponent is uh, going quite low on lands here. We would love to draw Wasteland here or Strip Mine. Oh, Cavern. That's a nice one. Um... Well, you see, there's two ways we can go about this here. I mean, we can actually play the Lodestone Golem here as a fisher, as in make him tap, uh, crack his lands. So going, uh, I feel like maybe the Forge Master is the right play here. I'm not sure. Where this would be really awkward is if my opponent had, uh, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the Lodestone Golem. I, I wish I hadn't have uh, played the uh, Ancient Tomb there because of a Dark Faden. And hopefully, he just doesn't have a land here. So this, I would be surprised to see this get hit with a Swords to Plowshare. Yeah, so he's going to play something here. And I suspect it will be in a swords. Oh, EE. -E. A two. Why a two? Oh, he's probably got it set at three here. We're just Let's take that Trinosphere away. But anyways, we're um... we'll set a construct here and. Uh... A little bit unfortunate. I'm going to have to uh, plunk myself for all that damage, but uh, hopefully uh, our Forge Master is not uh, accosted here. Oh, Cage. Okay, that's a nice one for sure. Um, six mana we've got so I could chalice at one and I could um, put the revoker on the engineered explosives I, I, I mean engineered explosives doesn't even do anything here the question is is this truly set at two and I, I've seen in the past okay my opponents conceded here I, I've seen in the past where uh, it hasn't been set correctly Yeah, Sunburst 2, which is just awful. I wonder if he was trying to set it at 3 for the Trinosphere. Anyways, we got there. <laughs> 